Hi, I'm Yasmin Hussein, and this is your weekly motoring news. As part of the build-up to the global launch of the new Vanquish, Aston Martin has released the first moving images of the Super GT. The video gives a teaser of the sound of the 6-litre V12 engine as the Vanquish is put through its paces. Aston Martin says it's a practical Grand Tourer with 60% more boot space than the DBS. However, with a carbon composite body and a 0-62 time of 4.1 seconds, it's clear the new Vanquish is all supercar. Prices start at just under £190,000 and first customer deliveries will begin later this year. Mini has released details of the new Paceman, a three-door version of the Countryman described as a sports activity coupe that will be the seventh model to join the Mini range. Two petrol and two diesel engines will be offered from launch with an output spread from 112 to 184 horsepower. The rear lights have a unique horizontal design, a first for Mini. The Paceman's standard specification includes lowered suspension while four-wheel drive is available as an option on S models. McLaren has released a teaser video for a new supercar that is rumoured to be the P12, a successor to the F1. The video shows trails of light outlining the design's contours, mimicking airflow passing over the car. The new model will make use of a kinetic energy recovery system, a power booster derived from Formula One technology. McLaren will use its first ever appearance at the Paris Motor Show to unveil the P12 at its press conference on the 27th of September. Nissan will unveil its new electric SUV concept, the Terra, at the Paris Motor Show. Powered by a hydrogen fuel cell, the four-wheel drive concept takes sustainable motoring off-road. Propulsion up front is the same as in the Nissan LEAF, whilst at the rear, electric motors are mounted inside the wheels, doing away with the need for a drive shaft on the underbody. Nissan has no plans to send the Terra into production anytime soon, as fuel cell technology remains a futuristic concept. The 2013 Range Rover has been unveiled at a private event at the Royal Ballet School in London. The new model was dramatically revealed, showing off its wading ability as it emerged from a water feature. The Range Rover is available with three engines from launch, two diesel and one supercharged petrol. There are also plans to build a diesel hybrid version, which Land Rover claims will be just as fast as the current supercharged V8 petrol model, as well as matching it for off-road capability. BMW has revealed its first front-wheel drive model, a plug-in hybrid concept for the premium compact segment. The electric drive is taken from the BMW i8, which delivers an all-electric range of 22 miles. A 1.5-litre petrol engine from the BMW Efficient Dynamics range interacts with the electric motor, providing a total output of 190 brake horsepower. 0-62 is reached in less than 8 seconds, with a top speed of around 125 miles per hour. Despite these performance figures, average CO2 emissions are less than 60 grams per kilometre. That's it for now. We'll have more of the latest motoring news stories for you next week.